What was ruined because too many people did it? You used to be one of only a few people around bidding on storage lockers. It used to be a fun hobby I gave up on because it became too popular and people are grossly overpaying for the lockers which is often time just paying to make a dump run for someone. Craft fairs. Now they are crowded with dozens of MLMS. I just want to find knitted slippers made by an old lady who clearly has a drinking problem, not more Norwex. Have a soupy falls in AZ. Went back in the early 2000s and it was nice and little to no trash. Now all these fuckheads have trashed the park and overcrowded it for a effing Instagram post makings wait times ungodly long. I hold great anger towards people that litter in cities but I get enraged at dips hits that litter in parks like WTF is wrong with you people. Clean up your SHIT and for those who actually care please bring a waste bag and we can start cleaning up after these fuck sticks. Airbnb The Appalachian Trail People leaving their trash everywhere is really ruining the trail and it's so fucking crowded now. Cooking shows. It used to be a few talented chefs who had shows to teach. Now it's every damn celebrity who can or cannot cook making the same recipes as everyone else. The summit of Mount Everest is like a trash heap now. Thrift shopping. Driving to work early. I used to do it, but now it's the same as morning rush hour. Adblock. Now every website has a warning. It used to be a rare sight. In my dorm room, there was a vending machine that, with just the perfect push of the button, would dispense two sprites. For a few of us, it lasted around six months. Then they fixed the machine after one loose lip led to another. Open lips snatch sips. Whatever the hot new tourism spot is. For example my grandfather used to spend weekends in Nashville when it was a more down-to-earth low-key town. Now it's one of the hottest travel destinations and is just swamped everywhere. Streaming services. I miss the days of one single service Netflix. Now every studio has its own service and holds their stuff away from services like Netflix and Hulu. Direct consequence too many subscriptions at this point it's more economical to buy stuff you want to watch. There's so many things and places most people didn't know about prior to Instagram and influencers visiting and taking photos there. Think Manhattan Hinge in NYC used to be a cool phenomenon only cared about or noticed by some but now everyone and their mother comes out lining and blocking the streets for something that was once a hey look at that that's interesting kind of thing. Now it's just kind of goofy. Festivals. I used to enjoy going to some local festivals. Now they are just overcrowded and expensive. YouTube. People used to make content for fun, now everything is optimized and monetized and scripted to death. Covid ruined the national and state parks, too many assholes not respecting the land leaving trash tagging rocks with graffiti and crowding the trails. Van camping in random places. Writing children's books. Used to be an art form, then every celebrity has written one. That beach from the beach. ETSY it's all resellers that run fake craft stores selling cheaply made junk. There's a handful of crafters on ETSY, and the rest is Amazon resellers and cheap Chinese stuff. The house flipping trend has certainly not helped home affordability. It's good to make an junk house habitable again, it's not good to turn a $220,000 house into a $350,000 house. A once pristine mountain lake that was peaceful and excellent for fishing and swimming was ruined by development. As I've previously commented, the pine trees surrounding the lake have been cut down and houses built everywhere. Discharge from motorboats and runoff from development have polluted the once pure water. The fish are gone and the air stinks of pollution instead of being lightly scented by surrounding pine trees. Flying drones. Thanks to all the idiots doing dumb shit with them, it's not even worth getting into the hobby nowadays you pretty much can't fly anywhere worth flying, need all sorts of permits, are constantly risking hefty fines or even being investigated for terrorism. No thanks. YouTube. I miss the days of amateur videos. Classic Smosh. 
crappy, but still sent entertaining music videos of video games. Actual real reactions that didn't feel like a fake, acted out script. Now everything is about fitting into the algorithm, likes and subscriptions, obnoxious influences. YouTube is all clean, square, corporate, and sanitized. I won't deny there is also really good content to be found as well, but it's mixed in with a lot of crap. Shopping at Target yesterday. Farmers markets. Now they are full of random people selling really weird shit and try to hold you captive almost and crazy people doing shows as they make them. I just wanna buy my things in peace without being harassed. Or buy good coffee without people there for the aesthetic. The housing market. College almost guaranteeing a good job and career. It is not the ticket it used to be. Over, over, oversaturated. Visiting major historical sites. Most of them have been turned into badly maintained, super expensive tourist traps. Add in the trash and damages tourists do, and yikes. National parks. Prior to like 2018, you could go to most parks without needing any hiking permits and would rarely have to wait in line. Because of COVID, every park in the lower 48 that is easily accessible is crowded, it takes forever to get in, and you have to have permits for a lot of the best hikes. Everything TBF. Nowadays wherever I go there are a lot of people and I hate it. Moving to Austin. Social media. Everything that has to do with true crime. Some years ago it was not popular at all and you had to search for any documentary and or website. Now there are extra TV channels, podcasts, magazines, everything and everyone is an expert. YouTube used to be a great place for information and entertainment. Now it's full of clickbait channels who just try to make money. Drinking and doing drugs at work. Too many people did it and now we have HR departments. Anything can be ruined if it becomes popular to the point that increased interest dilutes the original idea or community so that it becomes unrecognizable. Reddit rabidly hates gatekeeping, but there's something to be said about maintaining standards as a way of preserving a group's identity. Some jobs hobbies interests are harder to get into than others, and that's okay. As mentioned a few times here, over tourism. Undergraduate degrees. We're experiencing a strange educational inflation, where most jobs now require some form of higher education that previously didn't. I'm not suggesting education is necessarily a bad thing by any means, but it certainly drives a greater division between those that do and don't go. It's used to be a 30-70 spilt and now it is 80-20 as to the percentage of people that go and those that don't, a striking difference. Enjoying nature. Turn the damn music off you in bread. Thrifting. Elf on a shelf memes. Games. Just computer games in general. Too many people buy them even though they are shit and for a skin you have to pay 5 euros, something you got for free for playing the game. Or the season pass and all that. Back then, games had a great story, they had love in them and you paid once and that's that too many buy those shitty games anyway. Every franchise gets ruined because they have to be bought by the masses. That makes them average at best. Too many people and big money is a big problem in every hobby it seems. There is no place for art and love. Facebook. I remember back when it was invite only and you had to be part of a network. We sincerely used it to post pictures and create events. Then everyone and their mom joined and the timeline was created and everything was just awful. Thrift shopping. You used to be able to go to thrift stores not Salvation Army or Goodwill, mind you and find great pieces for cheap. Then the rich kids ruined it. Now everything is overpriced. Podcasts. They used to be funny or insightful or informative or in some way valuable. Now anyone with a microphone and half a funny story thinks they should make a podcast. Burning Man. The old guard of the old hippies of yore are long gone. It's overrun by hedge fund college kids and raver frat kids.